Tonight on The Big Idea, how far will you go to millions? I was a demo girl. Welcome back to The Big Idea. We are here to help you get your American dream locked in the sights, get you zeroed in on it like a laser beam and ready to go out and make millions. And if right now you haven't hit on the perfect idea, here's what I want you to do. Simply look around you. I guarantee there's a million dollar opportunity sitting right in front of you. It's somewhere in the senior year of your life. You just have to learn to see it, recognize it, and go for it, like my next guest did when she discovered hidden millions in her baby. The company, California Baby. If you can spread it, spray it, or spritz it onto your little bundle of joy, California Baby makes a natural version of it. Everything from shampoo to bug spray. It's a product line that began in one mom's kitchen. And now, it's sold across the country in Whole Foods and Target stores. And last year, California Baby had revenues of $10 million, according to the company. Jessica Eklesoy, founder of California Baby. How you doing, Jess? Fine, thank you. All right, man. We talk a lot on the show about all you got to do is look around in your kitchen, in your living room, in your kid. Yeah. Hid millions there. You found it in your first little son. I did. I did. And it's actually happened that way because... Um, of course I, it does. That's why we call it Hidden yeah, Millions on yeah, the show. Yeah, you just have to look around a little bit and open your eyes and open up and just do it that so way. So what did you see? What happened? Well, right uh, during my pregnancy, I started cleaning up my lifestyle. I started eating organically, and um, and then I had my son, and I was breastfeeding him, so I had a lot of time on my hands. I was at the library a lot, and I happened to pick up a chemical dictionary, and I started looking up the ingredients in my son's shampoo that I was using on him, and I was shopping at a health food store, so I thought I was buying the best product out there, but then I was shocked to find that some of the ingredients were listed as potential carcinogens. Uh, the cleanser and the fragrance. In a baby shampoo, in a, baby in shampoo, a, health, food in a health food store. It's amazing what we assume. That's it, what I said. And you go, wait a second, this can't possibly be. I said, be. this is amazing. This, is, this can't be right. And, um, and then I loved shampoos. So I was just kind of like, well, let me just come up with it. I have time on my hands. <laughs> let me come up with a fantasy product. And it took me about three years, you know, because it takes a long time. This was before the Internet. Right. And I was just looking up ingredients and... Um, and then I kind of came up with a fantasy shampoo. And you just mixed it yourself? I mixed it myself. Um, well, the first thing is I wanted to, to get rid of one ingredient, a shampoo, a cleanser that's very dry and stripping. And then I wanted not to use synthetic fragrances. So I wanted it to be aromatherapy using pure essential oils. Right. You know, everybody out there, if you think every product is on the market, if you think all the big guys have the answer, they don't. If you've got a kid, go through your entire day with your kid, every product, every service, say, can I do it better? Is it the safest it can possibly be? And you would have assumed in the 1990s that they already had a completely it's safe true. shampoo. It wasn't there. It's true. All you had to do was look, and you saw it with your kid. Yeah. And I was looking to make things easier for the parent, too. So the shampoo that I use, the bottle is a big square. It, nobody would use it. First of all, it was used for um, oil to change your... Um, car and the oil whatever and then I put a big gigantic pump on it so when you're washing your kid you can just pump down a big glob of it and wash your kid so I was I was seeing it from my point of view right and you you made your first batch and then you started how'd you get it out with it you started doing little mommy focus groups I did I did I took it and, and I and it was very expensive shampoo because you know it was organic everything was really pure we were getting our cleanser from Germany uh, essential oils from France and so the, it was fifteen dollars for a bottle of baby shampoo okay so people aren't gonna buy that obviously well, that's what they told me, okay. but that's not the truth. Damn. Yeah. What happened when you so, went and just tried to sell yeah. it in the store? They said it's expensive. <laughs> they said, we will bring it in, but you have to sell it. Meaning you have to do the demos I yourself. have to do the demos. So the first five to eight years, I was a demo girl. And I would, you know, come in and I would sell them and I would have to really do a lot of education. I love it. Your husband's in the business now. Yeah. Ten million bucks a year. You're in Whole Foods. You're in Target. We're in Target. Now, your husband's a CEO. So your photos, yeah. you get to boss him around? No. <laughs> what do you know? You're the CEO. No, no, He's no. I don't do that. You can't stay married and work together if you boss people around. There you go. I, I don't boss anybody around. <laughs> I let him do his job, and I do my job. My job is to make the products, research the ingredients, market the product. How did you know? You know, it's interesting. The thing that's always, I, I kind of glazed over it, but it's like, okay, you saw the need out there. How did you start mixing? You never had mixing your own shampoo. How the hell did you know how to do that? 
I didn't know how to do it. I have no, I had no idea, but I know how to read, and I know how to go to the library, and I know how to follow directions. I'm good at following directions. So I just said, well, you know, let me just start. I mean, what do I have to lose? I have nothing to lose. And how did you know when you had something, let's just start mixing this stuff, you read, put the, how did you know when you had something that was right? I would put it away. I'd say, okay, I'm going to come back to this a month from now, and if I still love it, then I'm going to move on. I, I was really very demanding, and I, I made the product, and we still do that today. If the pro the product needs to prove to me that it's good enough for me to go out and sell it. Right. So. And I loved you. Also told a, a little story about how you're obviously a very glamorous woman. You dress glam. That you'd be in these crunchy health foody yeah, type stores yeah. in your Manolo Blahnik yeah, or whatever yeah, it is. And people would look at you and go, what the hell's going on here? Well, my background is fashion. So I was, I used to make trips to Paris and Milan and, and I loved that. And then also I would sell to, you know, high end clients. I was working for a French designer. And so I kind of came from that and I had to be true to myself too. I, this is me, you know, that's my attitude. And you know, you're wearing Birkenstocks and I'm wearing heels. That's okay. And it's a beautiful world. Yeah. Birkenstocks. Some people like Birkenstocks. I love them too. I like heels. Jessica right. Iklesoy, founder of California Baby. There's a million dollar idea just waiting for you. It's going to make you love getting up in the morning. We're helping you find it. One big idea. Straight ahead.